Hello everyone, welcome back. So today, as you can see, we are at home in the walled garden. Now we have a security camera that we have been gifted by a company called RioLink and we are going to install it today and get it up and it's going to be used so that we can keep an eye on the horses when we're not around um, at night time and stuff. So that's what we're doing. So Mo has got a big metal pole that we are going to put on the corner there of the tennis court so it's nice and high. Um, Mo's just getting it all strapped on and ready to go. So this is the camera that we have been sent. Um, it's by Rio Link and it's called Go PT Plus. So this actual camera runs off of solar. So you get the solar panel and it also runs off of a 4G SIM card, a nano SIM. So you just put that in the camera um, and yeah, so we haven't got to plug it in or be near Wi-Fi or anything like that. So that's great. And also it means that we can sort of, it's not there permanently. We can move it around where we need it. But at the moment, the horses spend most of their time out in this field. So at night time, when we're not around to be able to keep an eye on them, we have got this now and it's amazing. And Billy and Gwendolyn actually already use these cameras all over the chateau, they've got them. And I did show you a clip in the video where Queenie escaped and there was some video footage and it was from one of these cameras. If I, not sure if you can see, but right over there in the corner, there's a pole with a camera and that's the one that got Queenie. <laughs> so now we're going to have one in the field so we're just going to get it all set up and then we're going to show you the view from the camera but yeah this is a really amazing company and uh well worth a look guys if you're looking for uh, cameras they do also do cameras that you would plug into um, mains power and also that work for wi-fi so that um you don't have to put a sim card in it but yeah these are perfect for outdoors and they're actually once they are hung up side down like this they become waterproof and it's got everything in the box that you need to install it so straps it's got all the brackets it even comes with screws and raw plugs and yeah so this solar panel here just plugs into the back and away you go and uh it also comes with a charging cable as well. So if you want to charge the camera indoors. But yeah, we'll show you once we've got it up. <laughs> right, so Mo has attached the camera and the solar panel to the pole. It's all on there nice and tightly. The reason why we're putting it on a pole is because it's easier to attach it and plus we can have it higher than the tennis court so we get good view of the field and I've just put Queenie and Elsa in the field for the night time and uh, yeah so once we've got it up we'll show you what we can see through the camera Is it done? Yes. <laughs> right, we need to go and test it now. <laughs> Screwdriver, always. Yeah. Even when I have this, I use this one. <laughs>
everyone. So, I have been away for a little while, Mar Mar and I, I know, we haven't been vlogging for about a week now. Um, and that is because we went to Bordeaux to help Ed and Anna from Bordeaux Life with one of their weddings. Um, so we were there a whole week <laughs> and we had a lovely time. We we're all rested and refreshed. So we haven't done much in the um, convent apartment. We have literally got back and we've been just getting stuff, you know, stuff that's needed doing at home. So we're all back together again and uh, sorted and ready to get going. Yeah, so um, at the beginning of the video, you would have seen us setting up the Rio Link camera, and that has been actually amazing for when we were in Bordeaux, because obviously I wasn't with the horses, so I could keep an eye on them. And yeah, so it's actually great, that camera, and I will definitely be getting a couple more so I can place them around the, around the stables and the, field, the other fields so we can see them everywhere. But yeah, 100% amazing cameras, and yeah, Go and get yourself some if you're looking for some cameras because they are perfect for what we need. But yeah, so thank you for Rio Link for sending the cameras to us or the camera. And yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> so today we are just going to um, make a plan for the rest of the week. I'm going to vlog every day now until the end of the month and keep it going for next month. So um, we've got lots of stuff to get going on in here. The last thing upstairs that we need to do is to remove this wardrobe, um, which will be really easy. Yeah, so this wardrobe was obviously part of the bedroom and it's no good for us here. So we're gonna take all of this out really simply and then this little wall needs to come down just this box bit in here and then um, that gives us a little bit more room for the lounge area and then all of this we're going to make like a sort of a little cabinet on the wall a cupboard on the wall to cover that up so it's not in the room yeah and so once that's done this is all good to go in terms of um, putting new floors down decorating so yeah. Hello, Sandy. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> huh? I've dragged you here to get working. Really? Yeah. We've had too much time off. Yeah. We had a great time in Bordeaux. Yeah. With uh, Ed and Anna from Bordeaux Life. Yeah. We get some tan. <laughs> yeah, because we spent half the time sort of just relaxing and spending time with Edna and then yeah. the rest of the time working. And it was very, very hot. Yeah, I think it's been hot everywhere, but yeah, yeah it was extremely hot. Yeah, so now we are back. <laughs> back to work. Look, this Mostly is my new... His work trousers on. <laughs> my new work trousers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they used to be trousers and now yeah. they're shorts. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do we have to do? Um, well, I think we should make a plan uh -huh. and uh, come back tomorrow fresh and ready to get loads done. We need to get loads done because we need to strip everything so we can actually start making it nice. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. I think upstairs it's not going to be as hard, is it? Because we haven't got that kitchen to smash out. Although there is a little kitchen in there, I don't think it will be as difficult. There's no, um, there's no kitchen there. Just there, there sink. is. There's a sink with yeah, a cabinet but, underneath. Yeah, that big sink. Mm. And but, the bathroom. Yeah, we need to get that to this stage, and we. I want to do it quickly this time, mm. and then uh, we can get going. And We're then we can start making here, it. start uh, putting uh, some good uh, painting and... Uh... Yeah, we need to paint and get the floor down. Mm. And then we need to get kitchen, bathroom put in. Don't we? 
and then mm. that's the major part down here and we need a plumber to come in and an electrician yes because we need to sort out the tank in that room there get that removed hopefully and um we need to move some of these pipes the um, pipes sorry the electricity so it can come because we need a switch on the wall over there and a couple of plugs oh. so we need to move a few things i think this we i can do it this, this is uh not very hard to do okay maybe yeah. dad can do it that just you just tell me exactly the where you want the switch mm. here or here or here well, it needs to be the same height as the others mm. and then i want so a light switch here for the lounge area and two plugs like a double plug down there okay and that's all on that so and then we need to move these lights here yes because that's where the TV is going to be on that wall. So we need to mm. put like a plug higher so that we can hide all the cables from the TV. Take this out. Bish bash bosh, done. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try and get some people to help us yeah, this weekend. Yeah, this weekend, uh, some of my friends uh, are coming. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the video for today, guys. We're not gonna get anything done. We just wanted to come in and make a plan for the week because it's good to have a plan.